in the event of a stalemate. And our delegation proceeded to invoke this provision. If at the end of the seven days we will not be able to resume the talks, the talks will be considered to have collapsed. A number of other issues have emerged from the talks. One is that the Kenya Kwanzaa side is essentially uh, several teams in one. The members are answering to different bosses and are not moving in the same direction. They are getting different instructions and are clearly pulling in different directions. Secondly, Kenya Kwanzaa has no clear direction on whether the talks should proceed or not. Deliberately, they have no clear direction from Mr. William Ruto on how to proceed. Three, Kenya Kwanzaa sees the talks as a process of managing the political situation, calming down the political temperatures, and continue with business as usual. Fourth, the destabilization of the Jubilee Party is a do-or-die agenda, sponsored by the high highest level of Kenya Kwanzaa leadership, whose aim is to ensure Kenya Kwanzaa obtains a super majority in parliament and amends the constitution, removes presidential term limits, abolishes devolution, and removes the independence of constitutional commissions and places them as part of the presidency. Kenya Kwanzaa also wants to remove the necessity of parliament approving every tax measures and wants to give the president power to impose some taxes without always having to go through the finance bill for every increase. In light of the above, we state as follows. One, we endorse the decision by our delegation to walk out of the talks. Until Kenya Kwanzaa agrees to deal with the interim issues raised by the team, the talks will remain suspended. Two, the issue of opening the servers, cost of living, cessation of attacks on Jubilee and other political parties are not negotiable. Three, we recognize the resolutions of our affiliate party Jubilee reached at the party special national delegates convention including the change of leadership, which must be taken as final. We demand that these resolutions be respected and enforced by the Office of the Registrar of Political Parties. Four, Kenya Kwanzaa must make no mistake that Azimio will do everything possible to protect its affiliate parties from these heinous attacks. We ask all Kenyans to join us in protecting multi-party democracy for which many Kenyans lost their lives. Five, all Jubilee Party members of parliament who have crossed the floor and joined Kenya Kwanzaa must go for by-elections. Those who hold their positions by virtue of their nomination by Azimio must have their nominations revoked. The Registrar of Political Parties, Mrs. Anne Deritu, must leave office in view of clear manifestations that she has been co-opted into partisan and illegal schemes by Kenya Kwanzaa to cripple instead of protecting political parties. Anne Deritu no longer enjoys the confidence of her clans who are political parties and whom, whom by her mandate she's supposed to strengthen, not to weaken as she is doing. The meeting resolved and has given authority to our team in the bipartisan talks to issue a notice of dissolution of the talks in the event that Kenya Kwanzaa will not publicly accede to the interim measures within six days in line with the provisions of the framework agreement. This notice ends on Tuesday next week. Thereafter, the Azimio co Coalition will communicate our next course of action at our PG next week on Tuesday. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, and then this Friday, the Azimio leadership has been invited 
by uh, the leader of the Waipa Democratic Movement, His Excellency Stephen Kalonzo Msioka, to um, 